Dude, $31 for this little box, eight pounds. I gotta hit you back with some cash, except I ripped your address to bits here to conceal the identity of the dirty green carpet. I guess uh, once a new green deal kicks in, $31 is going to be a bargain to ship anything anywhere. Occasionally I get uh, messages from people, they want to send me TVs, and I really don't want to work on TVs for people because there's no way to guarantee or warranty the work, and TVs are just unreliable as hell if you can't fix it yourself then you probably shouldn't own a vintage TV. It's kind of like a vintage car. But um, anyway, yeah, shipping prices are outrageous. Now this is a gift that was sent in by a viewer and I really appreciate it. We're gonna have some fun here. Everybody loves an unboxing video. So, not sure why, but it's uh, time for presents. So we have some presents here. We have two presents. This came from Kentucky to Los Angeles. $31 for eight pounds. And um, yeah, shipping rates are, are ridiculous. You know, a small black and white TV, packaged properly, 100 bucks. It's almost cheaper to send this stuff you ship and put it on a pallet. staying in the frame here. Just the first thing we got it. Ooh. Zenith 500D. Sniff it and uh, you always got to sniff your vintage radios and the do a little cigarette check. So with the extended life battery pack, I see. Sealed in steel. So you know what? This one is not even gonna get opened in this video. Um, we'll do another video on this one, so. Got to space this stuff out. Put our meter on this battery, see what we got. Dollar ninety-nine. I wonder when this was born. It's probably a date code on it somewhere. I don't know if this is accurate, but negative two hundred millivolts, and I'm hooked up on this thing right. Negative two hundred millivolts. This is quite entertaining. It says on the back here. Royal 500 Deluxe Tubeless All Transistor. And tubeless is a phrase usually usually associated with uh, tires. And this, to me, looks like a bicycle inner tube that they had holding this battery on here. So I guess maybe it's tubeless on the inside, but unbreakable nylon. Oh, I can't wait to get this open. 
interesting so it is a six volt radio and they just soldered the wires from the big lantern battery right onto the these radios are very cool all these transistors are socketed in these so the quality was really good on these and I bet this thing works I'm just gonna get uh, a bad or six volts to it and we'll see what happens get rid of those wires put good batteries in it let's see what it does here That's that's a volume all the way wide open. to start with capacitors in this because these capacitors these little white ones with the red ends they're notorious for drying out also there's some capacitors underneath the battery compartment so you have to um, Zenith made a bunch of these radios that were a lot like this this style I have a more couple more modern ones in the house, so yeah, let me pull it apart and I'll show. Mm, interesting speaker. Instead of an Innie, it's an Audi. Uh, see the white capacitor there under the speaker, and there's a couple of them over here. These all got to be changed. Let's just get straight to it and not even dilly snurgle around with it with this I think that takes the speaker off and yeah we just gotta start by recapping the transistors also go bad in these the old germaniums but they're PNP so they're easily substituted with the Russian stuff uh, but yeah you gotta start with the capacitors for sure here's a better look at the capacitors they're uh, yeah, they're ceramic, but they dry out like crazy. So there's three of them here, and there's one on the top. So we got two 50s. We got a 50 there. We got a 50 there, three there. So I think we got two threes. Uh, there's a three there. So two threes and two 50s. So we'll put a 47 in place of the 50, and we'll put either a 2.2 or a 3.3 in place of the three it's not critical it's it's always tough to try and find stuff that'll fit in here anyway because just how this is put together but we got to do it we got to make working again this radio what's going on here they this capacitor is bypassed see how it's soldered to that resistor it's bypassed. How is that possible? Okay, so I take the horrible solder blob off and it stops work well. So because the capacitor is bad, they bypassed it. That's real good. That's real good. Let's try this way of testing the capacitors. This is another way to test for open capacitors, mainly in audio circuits. It's just to hook your scope across it. 
and you can see there's a huge signal there. Now there should hardly be anything. That means the capacitor is open or the ESI, ESR is super high. Sorry for the reflection, but you can see the audio there. And I replaced this one with a Kimmet Tantalum. And it sounds a lot better. You can minimize the risk of heart disease by more than 20%. Because the bias isn't all jacked up from having the capacitor bypassed. So now what I'm doing is I'm measuring the AC across this one. And you can see here as I turn. Loss of nearly 20 pounds in the first year. The study was published in the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology. And it came up with. So that one's bad. This one is bad. Really buying. And what are the fees you're paying? Call and talk to me in person and I'll show you what. That one, actually, I don't see anything at all. Listen to the difference this one makes. Okay, it's been recapped. These are tantalums. That one's an electrolytic. I used all tantalums except for that one. Tantalums are better. They're lower ESR. When they go bad, they just short. That noise is the camera that Wow, that noise is this little thing. The little component tester. Operators are standing by. It's 1-800-500. DOJ, because it had to be somebody very high. If this happened, if this happened. It's just dirty. It needs to be used. It's waking up as a, the tuning capacitor is dirty. As I use it, it's working its way back. Roger that, A-OK. get a bunch of comments why are so many stations why are so many of your radio stations in Spanish real simple sanctuary state
Our summers? Well, they're hot. If exposing your retirement is... Protect your home and wallet from outrageous energy bills. Did you know new windows from American Vision Windows can... Re oh. Let me grab the other one I got in the house. I, I, I like this. I'm going to use this. Uh, I try and have AM radios all over the place. That, that way when there's an earthquake, there's always one within reach. I can grab it and tune in KNX and see what's going on because they're usually always on it within seconds. This one is a Royal 500D. I mean, I'm sorry. This one is a Royal 500 which is um, basically the same circuit as the 500D. It's the same inside. It, it actually seems to perform a little better than the 500. So yeah, this one seems to perform a little bit better than this one. All right, well, we'll uh, unbox that other thing next week and see what that's about. Here's what we changed, four of these White Devils, 2019 White Devils Black Beauties.